Hello. In this video, we will be talking about superlative adjectives. In a previous video, we spoke about comparative adjectives. Comparative adjectives are comparing two things. Superlative adjectives compare three or more things. Nouns. To make a superlative adjective, you take the adjective and then you add EST to make the superlative adjective. So the tallest is the most tall. You take the adjective tall and add EST. The tallest just means the most tall. So now let's look at the picture. We're going to complete the question and then answer it. So we have four people here and we have the adjective tall. So we want to know who is the most tall. So who is Laura, Mark, John, or Sarah? So to complete the question, what do we do? We take the adjective tall and then add EST. So who is Oh, we need a the here. Who is the tallest? Laura, Mark, John, or Sarah? So that's the question. Who is the tallest, the most tall? What would the answer be? I think it's her. So Laura is the tallest person. <laughs> or you could just say Laura is the tallest, but Laura is the tallest person. Okay, is that all right? So let's go to the next one. Which flower is, and then we have the adjective large. We have a blue flower, a purple flower, a red flower, and a yellow flower. So to make the question with a superlative adjective, we would say which flower is the largest, largest. Now look, large ends in E, so we just add ST. You see how it said add EST? If the adjective already ends in E, then you just add ST because you don't want two E's. So which flower is the largest? The Yellow flower is the largest. That's the answer. The yellow flower is the largest. All right, but we have to be careful because sometimes there are spelling changes with superlative adjectives. So we want to know which house is the most, and then we have the adjective big. So how would we form this question? Which house is the biggest? Now look, we have two G's. This is just like with comparative adjectives. With superlative adjectives, when the adjective is consonant, vowel, consonant, you double the last letter before you add EST. So whenever the adjective ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, double the last letter before EST. So big, biggest. So which house is the biggest? House two is the biggest. House two is the biggest. All right, so remember the spelling change, and now let's look at this. Which cat is, and the adjective is fat. So how would we make this question? Which cat is the fattest? And look, it's two T's because consonant, vowel, consonant. So which cat is the fattest? Cat four is the fattest. 
which cat is the fattest? Cat four is the fattest. All right. So just like with comparative adjectives, there are also irregular superlative adjectives. So good becomes best. So Justine is good at cooking, but Jake is the best. The best. Number one. Just like best is number one, bad becomes worst. Worst is the very last. So the worst, uh, Jane is the worst cook in her family. She is the worst. Many much becomes most. So many much, many much becomes most. Little becomes least. Sometimes you cannot add est to form a superlative adjective. Expensive is the adjective. The superlative adjective is most expensive. Expensivist is not a word. You can tell because of the red line underneath. Look, expensivist is not a word. It's most expensive. In general, the longer the adjective, the more likely that you cannot add est. We'll give another example. The adjective beautiful. Beautifulest does not exist. It's the most the most beautiful. So in general, just the longer the adjective, the more careful you need to be. So now let's practice. You need to complete the questions, then answer them. So we have what are the, and then we have old. So the question is, what are the oldest trees. Now, I am not sure of the answer, but I believe the oldest trees are Joshua trees. I know Joshua trees in California on the West Coast can be hundreds and hundreds, thousands of years old. If you think there are other trees that are older than Joshua trees, let me know. What is the oldest tree? I think the oldest tree are Joshua trees. Joshua trees are the type of tree, just like a maple, a chestnut, oak. Okay. So next we have, what is the mountain on earth with the word high? So let's take a second. What is the highest mountain on earth? Do we know the answer to this? So I believe this answer depends on if you're measuring from sea level up or if you're going underwater. If we're doing sea level up, the highest mountain is Mount Everest. The highest mountain is Mount Everest. Next question, what is the river on earth? And we have long. So the question would become, what is the longest river on earth? Now what's the answer? I think I know. If I'm wrong, say so in the comments. The longest river River is the Nile. Nile has a capital N. Okay, next question. Who is the person on earth? And we have rich. Again, I'm not sure of the answer, but I think I know. But what's the question? Who is the richest person on earth? Answer, the rich the richest person on earth is Jeff Bezos, I believe. All right, next question, which 
is the ocean. And we have the adjective deep. Deep. So to make the question, which is the deepest ocean? I'll give you a second to think about the answer. The, oops, too big. The deepest ocean. Well, okay, so the Pacific Ocean is the deepest. The Pacific Ocean is home to the Marianas Trench. The Marianas Trench is below the floor of the ocean, and that's in the Pacific Ocean. Therefore, the Pacific Ocean is the deepest ocean. All right, I hope this video was okay and not too confusing. We talked a lot about superlative adjectives. Remember, you use superlative adjectives to compare three or more things. If you want to compare only two things, watch my other video on comparative adjectives. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.